Hi everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. Today I will be reviewing a pair of pants I picked up a few weeks back. Ever since I got them, I've been wearing them a lot and they have been part of my rotation. Here are the Professor E Bondage PT pants from Fall Winter 2020. So I got to know of this pair of pants from a fellow Singaporean. His Instagram name is Kalo J. I saw him wearing them and I thought that they looked insanely good. So I did a bit of research. I went to their website. Surely enough, many sick pieces. It just so happens that the pair of pants I was eyeing, this Bondage PT pants, was on sale. So I bought them immediately. So as usual, I would like to show you details of the pair of pants to help you out with the sizing and show you how I would style this pair of pants because they are extremely versatile and they can be worn in many variations. Here's a quick overview on the pants. It is fairly wide and relaxed, straight leg throughout. There are many straps hanging from it as well as metal snap buttons. Here's a back view of the pants where you can see even more metal snap buttons. It allows you to alter the width of the pants giving you the option to wear it in many variations. The pants came in this grey envelope with the Professor E branding on it. At the back, there's a coil fastener. There's this ziplock that came with it with a really cool print. And it came with a translucent tracing paper type uh, invoice. Here are the tags that came with the pants. And it even came with a mini envelope with an extra set of buttons. This is honestly the most detailed packaging I've seen from a brand. A lot of effort put into it. Props to them. The pants is constructed from three fabrics. Here are their respective compositions. The material of the pants looks a bit like linen. It is very soft, slightly rough, but it feels very durable overall. First, I'll begin with the waist. There are belt loops. There's this small little coin pouch here and the button it has an engraving on it and it has a bit of that oil slick effect. The fly is made from a YKK zipper. On the left hip area, there are two bondage straps attached to it and they are non-adjustable. On the front, the pants has two external pockets, both fairly spacious and it is held down by this thicker strap. The straps could be removed entirely. They are snapped into place. Underneath both pockets lies a printed fabric. On the left side, there is the logo. Moving the pockets aside, there is a seam that goes down, it slants back out, goes down again and it slants back in. And the seam is left exposed, so it promotes the fraying of the fabric, which is a very, very nice look. And there's another seam that joins it halfway, it slants and it goes all the way straight down. This one does not have the fraying ends. In the middle of the pants, there is a strap sewn in. At the tail end, it contains the button snap, which allows you to adjust the width of the pants at the back. At the back of the waist area, there are three button snaps on both sides, allowing you to adjust the waist size of your preference. This really gives you the freedom and luxury to choose how you would like the pants to fit. You can wear it high-waisted, low-waisted, without the need of a belt. The back has two external pockets as well, with the underside containing the same printed fabric. The top of the pocket is held by a mini strap. Similar to the front straps, it can be removed as well. And the bottom is held down by a longer strap that goes all the way down. It fastens at the pocket midway and at the end. It is mainly for aesthetic reasons. You can unfasten the last button at the end and let the strap dangle when you walk if that's the look you're going for. But personally for me, I would remove the entire strap when I'm wearing it because I find that it's a bit tacky and too much. When the strap is removed, you have the freedom to attach it to anywhere you want as long as there's the metal button snap so you can play around with the configuration and design. At the back, at the leg portion, there are four straps, two on each side. Moving on to the highlight of the pants, there are two portions that allows you to adjust the width of the pants. On each of the strap, there are four button snaps. If you leave it on the outermost button snaps, it will be a baggy straight cut with a very slight taper to it. If you bring the snap button all the way in, and for the second row, you leave the snap button all the way out, you will get a flare look. If you were to adjust the second row to the tightest button snap, it would become a tapered carrot fit. These are examples of the extreme ends. Of course, you can adjust it to other buttons to suit your comfort. Here is the opening of the pants. Proceeding with the interior, here are the tags. This is the interior of the pants. I flipped it inside out. The seams are a contrasting white color, which is really cool. I'm not too sure of the intentions of the design, but to be honest, they could be worn inside out. I don't think people would question. 
So here's a look of the pants with the straps left on, the front as well as the back straps. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this look. I would remove it when I'm wearing it because at certain angles you can see there's this weird curved shape that the straps form. It hangs kind of weirdly and it's a bit too much for me. I feel that it's a bit tacky so I would remove them when I'm wearing it. Of course, if you're a fan of it, you can leave them on. As for sizing, all of the measurements are on the Professor E's website so you can go and take a look at the size chart. For me, I went with a size M. I'm a waist 30. Here's the pants. I'm wearing it low-waisted. Here's how they fit on me. The button is adjusted to the outermost button, which means it's on the looser end. And it fits great. I kept the top simple because the pants on its own is a bit loud and I wanted to show you different variations of the pants. It can be worn straight cut, skinny tucked into boots or flat. To sum up my thoughts on this pair of bondage pants, I love them a lot. They are super versatile because the button snaps allow you to alter the fit of the pants so you can wear it in many different ways. And although it's just a black pair of pants but there are many details to it and I love the fraying of the pants. The material feels very sturdy. It doesn't feel like it would get wrecked, especially when you're beating it. The pair of pants are also really comfortable. It's good for Singapore's weather, hot and humid. One small issue you may notice when you wear them is that the exposed pockets, if you have a wallet inside and you're, if you're sitting down, the external pocket kind of flaps up and uh, it can get quite annoying. But it isn't a big factor for me because I usually keep my wallet inside my bag. And this pair of pants has been heavy in my rotation, extremely happy with it. Definitely recommend it to anyone who's looking for a pair of bondage pants. The price is also good, it's a decent for what it is. I hope this video has helped you and given you the information you need for this pair of Professor E bondage PT pants. Thank you so much for watching, have a nice day.